Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Aries? This is Positive Thoughts and Energy. Welcome to my late night energy reading. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone is staying safe. To all of my subscribers, my new subscribers, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your support. Thank you for sharing my videos. I really, really appreciate it. To my new viewers, cross watchers, come on in to this late night, beautiful late night reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. Apply the gender roles and reverse the roles, how they fit into your life. Let's get started with your message card, Spirit. This is for Aries. Spirit, this is for Aries. Thank you, Spirit. This is for Aries. Thank you, Spirit. This is for Aries. Okay, Aries. See what Spirit wants, okay? Spirit, this is for Aries. What's the message for Aries? Oops. Aries, you have a lot of messages. What's the message for Aries? Okay. Here we go, Aries. Two cards there. Okay, Aries. I see what these two message cards is. Right? I forgive you for me. I forgive you for me. I forgive you for me. Second card. Wow. Woo. Okay. Karma, 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 karma. Wow. Aries, are you seeing this? I forgive you for me. See, that's what I'm saying, Aries. This is what I'm talking about. You're not forgiving nobody. You're not forgiving them to satisfy them. You're forgiving them for yourself because karma will take care of the rest. No matter how they hurt you, what they done to you, how they treated you, what they did, karma always have its way of coming back. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying Aries. Wow. A lot of you have learned when you forgive someone, you're not forgiving them for them. You're forgiving them for you so that you can continue to work on yourself and be happy in your life. Because as long as you hold on to bitter anger, you're stopping yourself from your blessings, Aries. You're stopping yourself from your blessings. The universe, the divine, the universe will take care of that person. I promise you. Here it is right here. And a lot of you forgave this person for yourself so that you can move on in your life. Because when you don't forgive, that means they have control of you. They still have control of you because you, you're still angry. You're still operating from a hurt place. You're still bitter. And you can't move forward because you're still concentrating on what they've done to you. My goodness. Aries. Yes. I'm trying to spit some knowledge to you. Spirit, please come into this reading. This is for Aries. Wow, karma, karma, karma. This person's getting karma four times. What they done to you. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Aries, Spirit, what is the message you have? For Aries. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. You have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay? This person is not feeling good about themselves. They're, they're being reckless. Mm -hmm. This person, you definitely healed from this person, Aries. They broke your heart, but you have did a lot of healing. You have the three of swords in reverse. This was maybe your soulmate. This was someone you was in partnership with. I mean, I'm sorry, not your soulmate, your twin flame. 
This, you could have been dealing with a Gemini. It's someone you was in union with, okay, in partnership with, all right? Yeah, they're not happy. They're not happy at all, Aries. Yeah, you were married to this person. If you wasn't married, y'all, if you was not married, you was with them 10 years, 11 years. Shoot, you might as well be. Okay? So, I mean, I wasn't married, but we was together for 15. Duh, tomato, tomato, tomato. Come on, y'all. No, you didn't have the paper, but you was with them long enough. Come on. Some things you can just, come on, you can get it. Okay? You can get it. Come on. Spirit, tell me more about Aries reading. Tell me more about Avery's reading. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. This person's not happy. They are recklessless. Mm-hmm. Two cards. Yeah, you have no patience. I'm sorry. You have no passion for this person. No passion. No love. No anything for this person. This person's just sitting. Okay? they just sitting there. I don't know if they're in a state of shock. Yeah, they're sitting there, they're vulnerable. Some of you, you could have divorced this person. Yeah, you have the marriage card and you have the the um, the her hair in reverse. Maybe they, you may have divorced this person. Or this person is divorced now. And maybe this person had you in a third-party situation, hurt you, and now karma is getting them back. We're going to find out some more. Spirit, tell me more about an Aries reading. Tell me more about Aries reading. Thank you. Yeah, this person wants to collaborate with you. Yeah, they want, they want to collaborate with you. They want to come back together. Yeah, it, oops, it's, it's weighing heavy on them. Yeah, they don't want it to be over. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's weighing heavy on them. Here they go. But you don't have time for their BS. I mean, like, yeah. You are very, you may have Virgo in your chart, Aries, but you're very wise. A lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge, inner knowledge, inner reflection you have done on yourself since you was less involved with this person. Yeah, it took you some time, Aries, to get out of this marriage, out of this union out of this partnership you had. Yeah, they're definitely sad. Told you. Look here. Karma, karma, karma. And you said, you know what? I had to forgive you for me. Yeah, they're definitely stagnant. They're definitely the ace of pentacles. No, they're not having no good luck. They're pentacles or anything. Nothing's, nothing's coming to this person. No good is coming to, this, to your ex-person. Aries, no good is coming to them whatsoever. Yeah, you see no future with this person. You see no future with this person. Mm -mm. Spirit, tell me more about Aries reading. Thank you. Yeah, you listen to your intuition. You're very spiritual now, very grounded. You know, you have, you're doing a lot of work on yourself, spirituality. You are definitely in the King of Pentacles now. Like I said, you can have Virgo in your chart, but you definitely are secured. You have definitely built a lot. See, they are, they are, they are, look at them. They're going, they're going through karma. Look at Ace, the, the, um, the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. Nothing's going right for them, okay? This is you. Look at you. You, when you forgave this person, when you forgave them for you, this is you. More spiritual inclined. You, your bag is secured. You are secured in all areas of your life. That's why I say you have to forgive this person, not for them, but for you. And when you done that, Aries, now they're feeling the karma. They're feeling it. Told you they're having a partial tarot moment. They are definitely in their feelings. Mm -hmm. They are not feeling good about this. But this is you. Okay. Okay, you understand? Now you see how it works, Aries? You see that now? When you forgive someone, when you take back your power, when you take back your power of who you are, 
when you get your, when you snatch your strength back and you get everything that this person drained from you, from abuse to fighting to everything possible that they could do to you, cheating, lies, deception, deceivings, secrets, other women, other men. When you forgave that person for you and you moved on in your life. Look here. You're in a nine of pentacles and a king of pentacles. Not only do you look good, but your bag is good too. Not only that you're grounded, but you're looking good. You're looking handsome. That's what I'm saying. You don't have to do nothing. You have poured a lot into yourself. You have balanced yourself out. You don't have to do nothing to this person. See, they losing control. They losing control. Justice wasn't in their favor. Okay? That means, yeah, they got a divorce. You divorced them, or they got a divorce, or you divorced them. Look here. This was present past person. This is someone in your present past. Okay? This is something fresh. This is something between six months to a year to two, up to three years. This is fresh. Mm-hmm. You have did a lot of healing from this person. And good luck, good fortune is in your favor. Good luck, good fortune is in your favor. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. That's why I say you got to forgive the person for yourself, not for them. Because they're going to get theirs. They're going to get theirs. I'm just saying, you don't have to wish nothing bad on nobody. There's no ill will. Don't, don't wish nothing bad. Don't say bad things. You just, matter of fact, how about you just send blessings over to them? Because they're going to get theirs. Because when you speak things, uh, ill will to somebody, it's going to come back on you triple time. That's what you say. You have to be careful. See, they played you. There was a player. Okay. They have been delayed. They cannot, you know, they, they cannot get to you. Exactly. This person could have been using drugs, but there was, they, they just lied a lot. Deception, just lied. They did a lot of lying. But you, like I said before, you have healed from this person. You cut them out of your life. Yeah, they, go, they, they might try to man manipulate you, might be trying to manipulate you. But that was an old journey for you. You're starting a new journey. Yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely not taking this well at all. They're definitely, they, they're confused, you know? Who cares? Spirit, any other message for, oh, it's a lot that need to be said. Yeah, they had, they had a lot of, they, they had a lot of uh, uh, options. They was just doing too much. They was doing a lot. They was doing a lot. They didn't care. It's like they had nine lives or something. They didn't care how they treated you. Yeah, now they want to come in and lay their ego down because they're hurting. They're in their feelings because this divorce over because I guess they felt like you weren't going to never leave them, whether it was a divorce or whether it was, yeah. This was someone you have a, had a very toxic, very toxic combined, uh, um, codependent relationship on. They thought you wasn't never going to leave them. They didn't think you was going to ever divorce them or walk out that door on them. You could have been dealing with a Capricorn or, or a Gemini, okay? But this was a very toxic relationship. Mm-hmm. It's right there. It's right there. Yeah, you definitely blocked off from this person. Yeah, they, they, was, they was just all over the place. All over the place. You have nothing to say to them. They were all over the place, Aries. They were all over the place. And when you learn to, when you really learn, after you did, a, when you were do, doing a lot of healing in your life, you was, you know, it took some time, but you was doing a lot of healing in your life. And you just say, you know, I, I really feel like a lot of you is like, no, I'm not going to forgive them. No, they hurt me. They did me this way. They did me that way. But when you started pouring back into yourself and you started loving yourself, self, and you started healing, you said, you know what? I got to forgive this person because if I don't forgive this person, I can't move on with my life. I have to forgive this person, not for them, but for me. Ever since you did that, Aries, look at your sign. Ever since you did that, you have been blessed 
beyond blessed. Not only are you secured, you're looking beautiful. You're about your pinnacles. You have raised your vibration. You are more spiritual now. You have tapped into who you really are. And you said, you know, no thank you. There's no need to come back into, don't, no need to come into the energy. No thank you. I'm good. I forgive you. Don't worry about it. You don't have to, you don't have to come and talk to me and say, or ask me, because I've already forgiven you. Because you realize that karma, gonna, if there's good karma out here, and there's bad karma. And when someone really treats you really bad and do things to hurt you, intentionally to hurt you, karma is going to come back. You are not the universe. You are not the divine. You are not God. You just forgive that person and you move on and you walk on. And what hurt them the most is that you got a divorce from them and you never looked back. You left them and you never looked back. And that is a beautiful thing. This has been your reading, Aries. Until next time.